Governor Asa Hutchinson held a COVID briefing for the first time in a while today to highlight the severity of this surge. TSP 11 Stewart in Howington brings us the governor's message from the Capitol. We are in a public health emergency. And our Kansans can expect this to last for the next 60 days at least. The public health emergency returns as the virus is putting a massive strain on our hospitals. Uh, whenever today we have, I believe it is, four COVID patients that are waiting in ambulances to be able to find a hospital to go to. That constitutes an emergency and a public health crisis. As healthcare professionals and EMS services express exhaustion over the crisis, the governor has called on the White House to send help. They're sending the surge response team uh, here to Arkansas, which helps us to evaluate, uh, to uh, strategize and to maximize our current uh, hospital space in Arkansas. And as a new school year nears, Hutchinson expressed his concern for the safety of our kids. He's calling a special session of the legislature, which likely will be next week, to amend the new state law that went into effect Wednesday that bans mask mandates. When you're looking at that 12 and under, uh, they can't get vaccinated because they're not eligible and hasn't been approved for them. The governor made it clear he is not talking about a statewide mask mandate. Instead, schools would be able to make their own mask policy decision. I'm asking all our Kansans take time now for the benefit of our school children, uh, the norma normalcy of life, get a vaccine as well as for your, uh, your own public health, your own individual health. Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. And the governor said he knows getting the mask mandate law amended by lawmakers won't be easy. The proposal will need at least two thirds support in both chambers of the legislature for it to take effect before school begins next month.